So how do you pick your drop shipping name? Like what do you name your store? It's exactly what I want to go over today guys. I want to show you exactly how to pick the perfect Shopify store name for your business. Now there are some tricks to this so make sure you watch this entire video and have a good understanding of how to do this before you actually go out and do it for yourself. Now you have to know, are you doing a general based store or are you doing a niche based store or a single product store? right because it's going to be two different approaches based on what you're actually doing if you're not sure yet go back to the previous video check that thing out because we go over in there uh, basically what is drop shipping like how to set everything up and how to determine if you need to do a niche based store or a general based store uh, but you guys need to know this before we actually get into the domain process so if you haven't yet check that out now if you are doing a niche based store or a single product store you have a lot more power with SEO, your search engine optimization. You can put that extra keyword in your actual domain name, like the URL at the top of your screen, right? You could put an extra keyword in there. So if you're running a store where you're selling footballs, right? And you name your store Football Store, then you have that keyword of football actually in there in your store. So when people type in football or football store on Google or Bang or any search engine, you are going to rank higher just automatically because you have that keyword in your title. You know what I, see? You get what I mean? So that, I guess, to continue on to my last video, is kind of what makes niche-based stores the, the end game goal. Like why you'd want to go to them instead of a general-based store in the end. Because they, uh, they allow for a lot more opportunities for you to grow. And you can't really scale as big with a general-based store as you can with a niche-based store. Now you also need to take into consideration your base demographic and where you're going to be promoting your products. Uh, most people promote their products primarily in the same country that they live in. Like I'm the United States so I'm going to sell the majority of my stuff in the United States, right? You watching this here might be from the United Kingdom or Australia so that might be your demographic area where you're going to sell the most of your stuff because you have a preference to that area and, and you understand how to sell there more, right? So it's important that you choose the right URL extension when you're getting your domain name and your URL. So if you're in the USA, you would be looking for URL extensions .com or .org or .net, right? Or likewise, if you're in the UK, you would want to do .uk. Or if you're in Australia, you're going to want to do .au for your URL extension. You just want to make sure that you have the right URL extension. Now, this is a problem I've seen with people when they try to do this stuff is they understand that keyword trick, right? So they feel like they're gonna be able to piggyback off of some of these trademark products and these bigger brands that already have reputation and audiences built around them. Never put another brand or a trademark name in your URL. Because first off, you're gonna get a cease to operate form, and those aren't fun. I've never went through it personally, but I know situations where I've seen people do that, and it's, it's not a fun process. And on top of other infringement issues, guys, you just don't wanna do this because you could potentially get yourself permanently banned from Shopify, as well as other platforms that you're gonna to need to use for this dropshipping process. So don't use any branded content names, don't use any copyrighted names, don't use anything else aside from your own original created name. Now, for the name of the niche-based stores, I try to keep things, uh, usually two words. So if we're going to do footballs, uh, like we had the football a second ago and I threw it over there, but the football store, right, we're not going to call it the football store, we're just going to call it football store. So it's like the Facebook story, okay? Facebook, before they were called Facebook.com, were called the Facebook.com. We don't necessarily need that extra group of letters in there. Right? It doesn't look as professional, it's redundant, we just don't want it in there. So Facebook uh, used to be called The Facebook, and then they dropped the The. Likewise with The Football Store, we're not going to want to call it The Football Store, we're just going to call it Football Store. So that's how we're going to approach the niche-based stores here. Now with general-based stores, um, it's a little bit different because we don't have an actual name to go around. I usually look for something that's catchy, two syllables, and six characters long roughly six. It could be could be five, could be seven. Uh, I just don't like to have something too long. And there's actually two tools I use for each instance. And we'll jump over to my computer here and I'm going to show you those. The very first one here we're looking at is instantdomainsearch.com. Uh, this is where we're going to find our domain names for our niche-based stores and our single product stores. So in the search bar, 
what we have to type here is your parent keyword of what you're trying to sell in the industry you're trying to sell or if you're only selling one single product right we have to establish the parent keyword and, and explain the parent keyword to keep it simple is it's the most broad term that you can classify a product with okay so if we're selling footballs uh, then our parent keyword is going to be football okay so we would just type in football up here oh, let's hit the cat blocks all right, then it pops up a list below. Uh, now, typically in the for sale area, I, I don't really look over here because I'm not looking to spend a couple thousand dollars on a website name. But, uh, you know, if you're made of money, more power to you. Uh, but I typically you're going to be looking in the generator area here. This is going to be all the available ones that say buy. Uh, the ones that say who is uh, shows that it's actually a taken website. And then you can look up the who is. Um, documents and everything on it online to see who actually owns this if you want to inquire on purchasing it from them okay so you go into generator you would click on see all and it's gonna pop up a list um, all the way across now of a bunch of different options related with your parent keywords so we typed in football everything down here is gonna say football in it now then you have to just go through determine which name that you like and uh, go off of that. So let's take a look through here, see if we can find anything good, just real quick. Okay, so if you wanted to build your football brand name around, like you could name your brand name X, X Football, that would be kind of cool. Uh, just for example, you could just see here, it's available domain name, xfootball.com. Then you would just go back to your Shopify store, head on over to online store, click on domains. Okay, and then your domains here, pretty straightforward, buy. And then you would plug it in here. It should pop up here, buy. I'm actually not gonna purchase this, but uh, you buy it, you put in your credit card information, your debit card information. Uh, same process with uh, general base store as far as purchasing your website. Finding the name for your general base store isn't, doesn't really require as much thought. Maybe a little bit more creativity, but you come over here to DomainNameSoup.com. There's plenty of websites out there like this. You, you hover over letter searches, go down to random six-letter domains, and then it compiles together six-character domain names, and they're not always going to make sense. Like They're not always going to be readable, and that's why you just keep going through, you know, show another combination, and just read them off to yourself and find something that um, kind of like sounds good. Conra, Quanra, that doesn't sound too bad. Um, but if you don't like anything on the list, just keep refreshing, keep refreshing. And once you find the one that you want, uh, bring it back over into Shopify, plug it in, same thing, purchase the domain, and uh, yeah, then you're off to the races. But uh, that's all we have in this one here, guys. We'll see you over on the next video.